Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Meg Gamer back again. Is it back again? And okay. Again. Leave the menu. Thank you. Okay. Back again with Frog Legacy. Last time, as I mentioned last time, I well didn't mention, but last time I died. Trying for the boss after I failed. So yeah. And this time I'll probably be feeling a bit more. So that's fun. Anyways. So last time I believe I started talking about Smash Bros. Yeah, I started talking about Smash Bros last time. I recorded this I started this recording like less than a minute. After I ended the last one, I already can't remember what I talked about. Wow. Anyways. Sorry, just something something popped in the background. I need to just move that. Or you know what? Even better, I might just as a testament to how recently I'm recording this. Okay, well now what's this? Oh. Okay. Anyway, yeah, as a testament to how soon I'm recording this after the last episode, the last episode just finished compressing. So, if there was something more like at the beginning of the episode that I just didn't notice, that's why. Oh, hello, turret. But not turret. Hello, chandelier. Hello, barrel. Hello, enemy. I can't remember the name of. Ah, Plinky. <sighs> Plinky. Anyways, so. God dang it. I'll switch your thought again. No, 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 but no. Turn around. Thank you. Also, I think I forgot to mention this at all. Um, if you start, unless you have a certain trait, you cannot attack and then turn around mid-attack. So, you have to be committed to whatever direction you're attacking in unless you have that ability. So, yeah. I also don't know if I mentioned this as well, but the levels, which you can see in the top left corner, immediately above my health bar, is based off of how many times you have upgraded anything in the manor. I believe the max is like... I don't know, what is the actual max? What is the max well? <laughs> anyway, so... Okay, last time I checked on my original file, my level was like 507, so unless there's some other level-based thing that I was just missing the entire time I played through this game the first time, the max level was like 500 or so. So yeah, I'll be streaming this game for a long time, but yeah. So, unfortunately, I like this game, so at the very least, I won't mind that much. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! That thing, this thing. Damn it. My dodging skills were non existent at that moment, so. I'm just going to jump up and magic him in the eye and miss and then magic him in the eye and then miss again while trying to magic him in the eye and then actually hit him and then just and then just stab him well not stab him 
There was a joke at one point in there. I just can't think. This is how I humor folks. I try to make jokes on occasion. And I normally fail at it. Oh god. So I just contemplating impossible train of thought. And I apparently have stopped contemplating, so... Hey. So anyways, one other thing that I don't know if I've ever pointed out is in the lower left corner of the screen, there are, yeah, five little dots. You can see them, like, right there. Those are five white dots. Those dots represent where your rune magic stuff goes. You can only have one equipped at a time to each piece of armor, because that's actually how it works. And <clears throat> you can't double up. Well, so you can't double up, you can only have one equipped. But <clears throat> and then it shows you down on the bottom. Oh god, words. <laughs> hey. So yeah, you only have five man you can only have five runes equipped at a time. Which shouldn't be a problem for me for very long since I don't think I've found many runes. <laughs> also, that yeah, takes forever to get all the runes, because the prices don't stay constant. The more runes you buy, the more expensive the other runes are. Which I guess is kind of like an actual economic system, just it's really annoying. So they start off relatively cheap, and then they just get into the thousands. The more than you buy. Hey. They might do the same thing with the armor. I can't remember. Remember. I can't remember. So. Yeah. Look, my main goal will probably be upgrading the manor and then maybe later buying some armor. 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 Just to show it off. Also, if you'll notice the helmet that the barbarian character wears, that the horns are not a thing. Just just saying. Well they are a thing here, but I'm pretty sure they weren't actually a thing. Which I'm sure like ninety nine point four percent of you knew. Which begs the question. Where, how close the other six percent? Point no, not six. Point six percent of one of you people. I'm not clueless, just slightly uninformed, I guess. Oh. Okay. This is why I record Noah. This, oh yeah. This is why I record Noah. Noah. This is why I record. This is why I record the black. This is why I like recording with Noah. I'm, apparently, I'm calling him that now. This is why I like recording. This is why I like recording with him. Because we're gonna actually have a conversation going, so it's not just dead silence for minutes on end, with occasional bursts of something to talk about in stuttered speech. Boing. 
This is not this is not a it's not a relevant song. Mario's not relevant here. Boing. Okay, nope, nope, bah. <sighs> so yeah, fairy chest. That's a thing. Oh god. You're gonna go, I can kill all these people, which you can see, like, right there. I you can't see me pointing at it, but I was pointing at it for a second there. Okay, good. Right there, I'm defeating all the enemies in the room. Grants me whatever the heck is in that box at this given moment. Which reminds me, I really need to actually get around to beating the bosses. Or at least the mini bosses, just to show them off. It was especially too for getting all the mini bosses, for beating all the mini bosses, which for me was. I don't know, I'm just confusing to get because I didn't know which things qualified as actual mini bosses but part of the time. Okay, now the chest is open. And what rune do I get? I get a grace rune for the helm. I believe that ups your. No, no, no. That lowers the overall difficulty, but you. I think it's. Yeah, I think it's. You lowers the overall difficulty, but you get less gold. So, it can last longer, but you net roughly as much gold. So. Yeah, uh, that all the. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't wait really to get double jump, because. Yeah. I probably can't wait till I get a normal jump either. Anyways, so. I really like games that have double jumps. Not just just not solely, but I really like it when a game has a double jump. Well, hmm, boss. Right. As I was trying to say before, I was so really interrupted by my own thoughts. I really like it when a game has a double jump feature because I don't know. It just feels like you move faster through the game, even though you. If anything, you'd probably just slow down a bit. Oop. Oop. And I am not... Maybe I am going in there. You know, if I can find a bit more health... If I can find a bit more meat, I'll go in there. I'm really glad the scouts are weak, because I do not enjoy dealing with this variety of enemy type. Also, for my goal of finding meat to actually be worthwhile, I need to not take any damage. Or at least take as little as possible. So. Yeah, I might not want to be so reckless. I don't know that qualifies as reckless, but it seems like it in my mind. So how long have we been going on? Oh, that long. Okay. And just a couple more coins, and now we have 2,000. Probably about a few things. And another scout is in the room. Probably should have seen that one coming. But um, <sighs> this is me making jokes, people. <laughs> okay, I've had a net gain of one health. I think I'm doing good, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, another blueprint. 
Let's see what we got. Little f sorry for the squeaking in the chair. Squeaking in the chair. Squeaking in the background. My chair is a bit squeaky. No, it's moving around slightly, so. Anyway, so I made health. Not made, but. I think I'm just gonna go fight the boss now, and whatever happens, happens, and then I'll end the episode afterwards, so. By the way, odds are probably doing this a lot where I start an episode, try to fight the boss, die, possibly, and then go to fight a different boss. Not a different boss. And then next round to get to the boss and then there's gonna be multiple things. Also something that I'm really happy about is that the bosses don't respawn after you kill them. Unless you do like a boss remix. And that doesn't really count. It also inspired me to do a different challenge, which I probably won't be doing for you guys anytime soon. You probably guess what it is. It's, you might be able to guess what it is. Uh, it involves beating the game on level zero. That, that's your hint. Your hint is the entire concept. That will probably take a bit longer if I actually managed to beat him than it would have if I used the knave. Oh god, nope. Oh, not that nice. Nope. I believe if giant, yeah, if giant is you can just stand under here and whack him and it will actually register their hit. But unfortunately, my hitbox is slightly too small for that, so. I just have to awkwardly jump. Wait, I'm hitting five times magic. And that was me trying to whistle, folks. Oh god. Hey, I actually dodged that. And that, I am slightly impressed with myself. But only slightly. Thank you for using the magics. Okay, I'm now like, I think roughly ish, a quarter ish of his health ish. <sighs> Apparently, I like adding ish to the end of, ends of word ish. A bit odd ish. Uh, what I'm doing is Noah's job to make horrible jokes. No, yeah, he does have good jokes. It's no job to make Pokemon jokes. Oh god. Sorry, no, if that totally offends you, but. For the number of times I've face palmed or groaned or said, God dang it, no, after you've made a joke, you probably kinda get the point. Alright. Also, if any of you guys actually go on Noah's channel, also known as all of you probably since hit my channel and it's probably how like 90% of you know about me. I, yeah, like two of you. Yeah, two of you probably didn't find me from the hit my channel and that's because, well, you're friends of mine and one of your names is Noah. You actually got me to start doing YouTube, so... You can complain to him if you do not like my stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. I've been doing surprisingly well, actually. Considering the box that, I, considering the box, considering the fact that I think my head box might might actually be bigger. Will I get to the bus? Nope, not if I'm getting hit. <laughs> I did. I was doing so well, and I got hit twice, and I'm probably just gonna die here. Why not? 
Sorry, this the spike scared me. Not scared, but surprised me. I forgot they were down there. Oh, dang it. And will I correctly judge the lag? Yes! Okay. And I live to not die another day. Okay, good. It's actually going this way this time. Anyways, I doubt... Um, okay, I was going somewhere with Noah. Yeah, Noah. So, yeah. Um, you probably mentioned to you that... You, a good bunch of you guys probably know this, but Noah recently got an account, and I believe the site's called The 99 Gamer. It's something along those lines. Which is a site for buying and selling used games at apparently really good costs. I wouldn't know. I've actually haven't actually been on the site yet. So, and my birthday's coming up. So, like seven days from now. Actually, yeah, seven days from now. Also, I uh, beat the boss. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, my birthday's coming up fairly soon, so Noah, being the awesome gentleman that he is, actually got me a couple games using the 99 Gamers. The games in question, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. But 1, I know for certain, because I haven't actually checked to make sure Kingdom Hearts 2 works. I, I, should, really, I should really do that. Before I start singing his praises, but still, he's an awesome guy, even if his jokes are kind of bad. And this time I finally beat the boss, this slowly falls from the sky and gives you three random upgrades. This gives a guy at plus 10 health and plus 1 magic damage. I approve. Although the game wouldn't care, anyways. <sighs> okay. Anyways. So yeah, that's one of the main methods for actually upgrading character further after you can't upgrade them anymore using the manor. Just going, fighting all the bosses again, getting those upgrades, and getting fairy chests. Because once you get out of runes, the fairy chests will just give you normal upgrades. Okay, let's just before I end off, we have end off, end off, end off, end off, the end off, end off, the end off, end off, the Enderman. No, end off. Anyway, before I end off the episode, oh, and the Maya is here. Also, if you think that's some kind of weird joke, nope. The area is actually called the Maya, so I don't know why it's called the Maya, but it is. So yeah. Anyway, so next time on Rogue Legacy, now that you've beaten the boss, we will go more thoroughly explore this randomized castle. So the exploration won't really be helping anyone, really. <laughs> Except for me, maybe. Possibly, I don't know. And then, assuming I die again, we'll, whether or not I die again, we might eventually go after the second boss. Which I'll not reveal to you yet, but I'll give you a hint. His face is on the door. Not that wooden one, the one that I passed every time I die. So, this has been Mega Gamer playing Rogue Legacy, and I will see you guys next time.